Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Indonesian community. I wanted to say hello, but then I discovered hello is hello. Hello. So this Southeast Asian nation is made up of volcanic islands and they've got delicious foods. I don't know if the volcanoes have anything to do with the amazing spices that they put in because it's like, hey, we need this to get hot. Hot as what? Hot as a volcano, but it's delicious. This Muslim majority country has loads of different languages or at least dialects. I can't uh, go ahead and say all of them, but throughout the video, I will speak as best Indonesian as I can. And if I'm not doing good enough, let me know so I can improve. Now, of course, you can't talk about Indonesia without talking about nasi goreng. Yes, and some delicious sambal sauce. That's Indonesian fried rice and some chili paste. So let's talk about the different restaurants that we've got here in Qatar. We've got Tofu Barwa, you've got Restaurant Central, we've got Tofu and Cake, Indonesians love their tofu, and Minang. I'm gonna end it though with the restaurant that Indonesian said is the most authentic, and that's Mama Rosie Restaurant. Bilateral relations started between Indonesia and Qatar in 1976. You can fit 164 Qatars in one Indonesia. Oh, and both countries are members of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. So there were loads of memorandums of understanding signed between Qatar and Indonesia because that's how you know things are becoming serious. And these MOUs are related to transport, agriculture, and wait a minute, I got a note, tourism. Okay, so I've got some notes over here. Indonesia exports to us office supplies, paper, electrical appliances, and home appliances. Qatar exports oil to you guys. Are you looking for gas? Don't just have any gas. Liquefied natural gas is what you need. LNG, brought to you by Qatar. In 1997, Qatar opened up its embassy in Jakarta, and in 1999, Indonesia opened up theirs here. Oh, and fun fact, the Indonesian currency is called the rupiah, which is very similar to the word rubiya, which is what we refer to change. One real is equal to 3,910 rupiahs. That means by me holding these 300 real notes, I am a millionaire in Indonesia. One million dollars. Tim, you're a millionaire now. Oh, look at all those millions. <laughs> Not so fast. Give it back, it was just a prop. My boss is so cheap. On the investment side, PT Adhi Karya had won a contract of $500 million, and that was to build three hotels. In Indonesia, you've got a mobile network that used to be known as Indosat. That is owned by Uridu, and now it's known as Indosat Uridu. If you're looking for some Indonesian ingredients, yes, we've got a supermarket for you that's called Katindo, Qatar, Indonesia. So I was surfing YouTube, and I found a guy named Rizki. He sang an awesome song. Let, let, let me give it a go. Tell me what you think. Bordua, Bursumamu. Wait, 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 wait. Well, well, let me show you how it's done, Mr. Pio. Okay. Bordua, Bursumamu, Mangajar Kanko, Apartinia Kunyamanan, Kusumpurnaan, Chinta. If you want to hear more, let me know in the comment section below. And you never know, I can make a special cover just for you. So, this was just meant to get the conversation started. And if you want to share something about your community, please let us know in the comment section below. And who knows, we might make a second Indonesian video. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Q-Tips. If you did, please don't forget to give us a like, don't forget to share, and of course, subscribe. And if you've got the chance, please go ahead and click on the bell icon. Do you know what bell is in Indonesian? Bell. Here, I'll prove it. Bell. Sampai jumpa lagi. Masalama. Berdua, bersamamu, mengajar kanku, apa artinya kenyamanan, kesempurnaan, cinta. Cinta. I can't do it. I'm out.